someone do the secret knock? Hello guys, welcome to Casa De La Gaines. But more importantly, we're gonna do the official gym tour of Garage De La Swole. So as you guys know, I was a gym owner for about seven years, had the Lion's Den, which was 5,000 square feet. Started from nothing to a lot of the bells and whistles, now doing a career change, but still wanting to train out of my garage, possibly future studio space and pump out content. We're here, so new chapter guys, new chapter. This is, over the years, I've been in and out of this garage and each time it's gotten better and better, find a new layout, but I wanna cover what's in here. There's always things that are changing and I also have gym equipment in a couple storage units. So I'm figuring out what works and then you know plugging and playing with things as I do my program. But just a basic two car garage setup. So if you guys come right here, we'll do this side first. Obviously, we still have the home appliances. And you know, when you gotta trim the shrubs between the set, we get it done. If you wanna practice your golf swing, we can get it done while equally lifting heavy objects. So this right here, one of my favorite pieces of equipment, it's a rarity, it's a unicorn, as always, in the wild, uh, because it's a Liberty Bell, Texas Power Concepts, Husafel. Only one of its kind. I'm right outside of Philadelphia. So I find that really cool. Uh, we also have the Pink Lady Husafel, which is about 35 pounds. Still gives you the same dimensions of a regular one, but it's very light. There's a throw bag in there. And then right now we have my weird dumbbell assortment. So basically goes from fives up to 65s. Ideally, I'd like to have 100 or 100 plus dumbbells, but we're making do with what we got. So I'm just trying to show you guys me being a strong dude, a high level lifter. I can get it done with everything in here, so so can you, you just gotta get a little creative. Behind, we have one of my Lion's Den deadlift platforms. We have the band pegs on here, which I got from Alan Thrall's video, very simple, cost effective. And then we got boxes, so these are just rogue boxes. We put the Lion's Den logo on there, so it's just cool to have those. Um, but a lot of this stuff was just you know, found over the years, or bought, or given to me. So a lot of this is very special. Uh, as you guys know, I've been on a huge grip kick and I like attachments. So this used to be a bike holder, but I just threw on some grip stuff from Grip Genie, some Elite FTS uh, Cannonball grip. We got our grippers, we got our neck harness, tricep push down, obviously the Grip Genie flag. Then if you guys were to come over here, these are the barbells that I'm rolling with right now. There's a couple more that I'd like to get either in storage or purchase them in the future. Uh, but we have our Rogue Trap Bar. We got our Bells of Steel Arch Nemesis. We have my favorite bar of all time, which is gonna be the American Camber Bar by Elite FTS. We got an Axle Bar. We got some Beater Bars just for rack pulls or bars that we don't really care what happens to. We got the Matt Chan Bar, which I don't know if they still make anymore, but this is one of my favorite bars because you can do pretty much anything with it and it has a little light uh, knurling for your, uh, your collarbone, so if you were to do cleans, you can. We got two deadlift bars, and then back in the corner, we got an easy curl bar. We got a sledgehammer and a mace, so using those. Once again, more grip implements or forearm grower, so we got the roller, the original grip roller uh, from Grip Genie. Then we got custom 12-inch circus dumbbell by my man Mike Halam, who's been just making stuff for me to try and I don't know if I'll get into fabrication, but it's great to have that hookup and be able to utilize the equipment. Under that, we got the 10 inch circus dumbbell and then we have the original 10 inch uh, green circus dumbbell, the Hulk I used to call it. We got a, a sled. So this sled's great because it's super versatile, easy to throw in and out of the truck or take wherever it collapses. You just gotta throw the arms in there. Got our full send flag, shout out DK. He purchased that for the den. Thanks brother, miss you. And then we got some battle ropes for conditioning. We also have these rep fitness, uh, basically slam balls or D balls, whatever you want to call them. I like using these for my athletes doing explosive exercises. I try to keep them lighter so I can just use as much force and power as possible. Couple uh, bumper plates back here. We got our massonomics flag or straw man flag. Love that, some sledgehammers, and then in that orange bucket, all sorts of little weird things. We got like duck walk pins, 
We got clubs for our shoulder warm-ups. Uh, we have more loading pins, landmine attachments, all sorts of goodies. And then actually, so obviously you need you need a whiteboard. If you don't have a garage gym or you're into training or coaching and you don't have a whiteboard, you probably should quit right now. I love whiteboards. I have a bunch of them. So I'm gonna move this real fast. So over here, this is the first rack I ever bought from Rogue. So it's a staple, I'll have it for forever. Cool thing coming out in the future. So I just got a Bells of Steel sponsorship. So they're gonna be sending me a ton of stuff uh, that was on my wish list to buy from them already. I've had other products from them and I'm going to be able to review them for you guys and show you how it holds up, kind of my setup. So this is gonna be swapped for a new power rack from Bells of Steel with some pretty dope ass attachments. So I'm excited for that. Uh, but this thing is, I've, I've done everything on this rack. You know, I've squatted almost 700 pounds. You know, I've benched a ton, pressed. This is, you know, just a solid tried and true rack. Uh, we got the Rogue Bench. I've had this for seven years. You can see that it's held up. These are great benches. Uh, I have a hurdle that I stole from the high school. Shout out Soderton. Um, but just wanted a hurdle for some jumps, that kind of stuff. We got some more slam balls. The original Lion's Den uh, custom built wood pallet. Uh, logo, which is very special to me. And then this is like our, our grip attachment. We got the new, I don't think this is out yet, but it's the Dragon Egg from Grip Genie. Uh, we got our collars, we got our uh, die grip, we got our grenade grips, our peach, our eggplant, of course. I've been just on that grip kick video be coming out about how I'm training grip, why I am and why I love it so much and how you guys can do it. Uh, but yeah, just a lot of odds and ends stuff. So we got loading pins back here. I got another forearm grower. I got a, a block for pinch grip. I got some neutral grip attachments I can throw up here. And then another custom uh, grip implement from Mike. So you just load the weight on here, right? You can crush it just like that. It says that strength, it's got that splatter paint. I'm absolutely stoked to be using this thing. Uh, and then we have a rower just for some conditioning, low impact. I'm trying to get an uh, air bike or a salt bike so I can just change it up a little bit, but I'm obviously running during the week. There is a good amount of impact with the running, so it's nice to switch it up, hop on a rower, or just in the morning, pull this thing down, get after it. And then you guys always ask about this thing, but this is my lap pull down. I got it at a CrossFit box years ago. It was like a hundred bucks. The guy did not know the value of this thing because I have used this pretty much every day or every other day for something. It's plate loadable. It's a little bit annoying to get the plates on. I don't really care much about it, but for hundred bucks, everybody in my gym uses this as their lap pull down. Uh, and it's just held up. And once again, it's very special to me. It used to be, I think it was white originally, and then I painted it red and then it became black, um, but all different attachments. So we had the knockoff mag grips that I think, I think maybe they're from Walmart or something like that, but bought those. Uh, there's the other ones right here. So you got close grip, wide grip. Uh, the mag grips are just fantastic for getting a different stimulus to the back and also working your grip at the same time. Traditional black pull down bar, foam rollers. We got the wall of straps. So we got your weightlifting straps, your figure eights, your traditional, just regular uh, straps. Rope for push downs. Uh, and then we got my rucksack. I actually have a couple rucksacks. This is more like my every day or, or heavier duty one that I use and it's kind of like a low profile look. So I rock that when I go on my rucks. Obviously, I know you guys wanna know what's in my refrigerator. What? Well, let me show you. Okay, if you don't have Uncrustables, are you even a lifter? Uh, no, we got a bunch of different like, you know, salmon, we got breaded chicken, we got vegetables, we have adult beverages. Then if we go down here, oh, beautiful. More adult beverages, carbonated beverages, Gatorade for training sessions, yogurt, uh, lots of greens, OJ, more adult beverages. I don't, I don't know why there's a lot of adult beverages in there. Oh, don't fall, don't fall. Are you drunk? Uh, but then over here, we just got some more flags. We got hula hoops, because I don't know if you guys know, I'm actually an amazing hula hooper. In this box, we have all our mobility stuff. So we have my workout bag, ab mats, mobility tools just to loosen up before training. 
This is gonna be our half rack that we turned into a yoke as well. So it serves multiple purposes. If we have more people in here than just myself, we have two racks for people to use. Obviously we have the spotter arms, um, but if we want to, we can turn this into the yoke. We can take it outside for either yoke walks, overhead carries, stone loads, whatever. We got this heavy duty beast right here. Bell's a steel incline bench. It's been help holding up great. I love it. I made a video for it on my Instagram and I posted about it, but budget friendly, but heavier, kind of almost like commercial duty. Uh, so it's in between like home gym and commercial grade. So if you guys are training your garage, this will serve its purpose for you 100%. Highly recommend it. Another rogue trap bar. We got our kettlebells back here. Kettlebells only go up to 70. I like to get some heavier kettlebells. Uh, but the cool story with this is the pink one that's down there, if you guys can see it. I actually got that from Marshalls, uh, which is just like a, uh, not a thrift store, but just like a retail store. Uh, and that was the first kettlebell I ever bought. I think I was 18 years old and I used to have this little setup where I'd go and travel to clients' houses and bring my little setup and that was one of the originals. So that will never leave me. Uh, but some of these other ones were gifted to me either by clients. Some of these are original Russian kettlebells which have some cool history to them. Different grip, different feel. I'm always about having differences in equipment uh, just for the versatility of it and all that good stuff. Now over here, we have more grip implements. So we got tons of fat grips. We got like little deadlift wedges. We got the rolling thunder. We got some other uh, cable attachments, different handles. First off, listen guys, I know what it looks like, but this is chalk, okay? This is chalk. Chalk from Grip Genie, as always. We got our wagon wheels. Both these wagon wheels were gifted to me by different people. These are from Kevin Mahoney. Shout out, Kevin. I really appreciate you, bro. And then these were from Alan Thrall. Shout out, Alan. Alan's gifted me lots of cool stuff over the years. He's one of my, my good buddies. Love him to death. So we have two pairs of the wagon wheels. Stack of sandbags. So we basically have Bells of Steel bags and Cerberus. So Bells of Steel has great quality bags. I'll make a video in the future about them. Uh, Cerberus also really reputable company, but have both of those. We got these cool colored plates, which were bought from a guy down in Philadelphia who was a strongman competitor, unfortunately passed away, but I was able to basically get all of his equipment prior to him passing away. So that's stuff that will never leave me, I'm trying to just carry on that legacy, use it and just honor him uh, as an athlete, and a, as a person. So. Very cool that I have these. Lots of chains in the buckets. So we have five all the way up to 20 pound chains. We got an ab mat here just to roll out if we don't want to do stuff on the black top. Um, and then another big weight tree of just all different assorted weights, anywhere from fractionals all the way up to the 100 pound plates. So lots of iron here to be lifted in uh, Garage De La Swole. We got more, this is a custom Zat Strength sandbag which is really dope. So they sent me that. Uh, and then we have more Bells of Steel bags all the way up to the 350 uh, Bells of Steel bag that I could not pick up in my last sandbag video. But we'll get you, baby, we'll get you. So as we come on over to this side, more flags, obviously. Death for Dishonor always has supported me. So I got their flag up. We got my Pitbull 12 inch log. This is, I sleep in sand at night, man. I, I made love to this in so many ways, I can't even tell you, but. Mm, she is a dirty log, that is for sure. Over here, we got our uh, Mike Bardos Power Center PR platform for deadlifts. Since I'm heading into the strength phase, I'm definitely gonna be utilizing this. We have another Lion's End platform just to do deadlifts off of. We got a plate holder from one of my buddies, which is really cool. The other log over here, which is a custom uh, uh, eight inch log. It's custom eight inch log. It's a lot heavier than it looks actually. I think logs are cool because they always come in different shapes, sizes, made out of different materials. Um, then we have some custom, uh, basically silver dollar deadlift attachments. And then we have our wall of bands here, our collars for the chain attachments, jump ropes, different straps for the sled, or if we're doing something on the pulleys, dip belt, more sled straps, some hurdles to jump over, mini bands, a couple belts for people to use, P90 
PVC pipes, lacrosse sticks, never know when you're gonna wax it up. That's kind of the setup in here. I've been playing around with different things in different formats. It's changed since I got in here. I've only been in here for about two months. Um, so I'm playing with what I like, what I don't like, running back and forth to storage, swapping things out, all that, those goodies. And then I utilize the cabinets, right, for any extra like storage stuff. I do some sprouting, so I got my sprouts, I got my Grip Genie collars up there. You know, I got first aid kicks, you never know when you're gonna blow a hemorrhoid. And then, uh, well, that has nothing to do with gym stuff. But over here, right, we got our Gatorades. We of course have our ammonia supply, Tiger Bomb, more bands. We got blocks uh, for different types of board pressing from Elite FTS or bench blocks. We have all my gear, my lifting straps, knee wraps, all that kind of stuff, which you guys can find in my gym bag video. I talk about what's in my gym bag. Um, but yeah, kind of some, maybe some little stuff that I missed. We have the hanging abstracts from Elite FTS, but utilizing these a lot. Viking uh, press attachment, which you just throw the landmine on there, put the barbell in, then you can put that on. Now you've got a Viking press set up, all different grippers. <laughs> I couldn't get it, but I'll get there eventually. This is a, ooh, a five, a five from Grip Genie. But I got the uh, Captains of Crush. Then I got the grippers from Juji, some other little attachments over there. So very versatile place here. This is Garage De La Swole, and I'm very proud of it and excited to see where it goes. Uh, but that's kind of the layout. And like I said, as I get the stuff from Bells of Steel, probably do some more rearranging and figure out the best efficiency with the footprint that I have. It's not a huge two-car garage, uh, but the cool thing is I can utilize the driveway, the street, sidewalks. I'm running around this place like a madman, just freaking yoked out of his mind. If you guys want, check out the other videos of my, my garage gym tours and also my gym tour, so you can see you know, what I had, what I've taken here. Obviously, I had some big commercial stuff, which I still have in storage, but we can get it done. If I were to put some of that equipment here, it would just take up too much space. I have to be very space efficient and make sure that it's set up exactly the way that I want it. That was the inside of the garage. Now I'll show you kind of the, the back end of the property. So watch your step. We do have dogs that like to take big massive dumps. See, I put in a bag just to, just to make sure that we didn't step in any doo-doo. Now, if you come around back, we have a couple more strongman implements. I actually have more stuff in the house, but I'll just tell you what's in there rather than going into Casa de la Sol. But we got the kegs. So the kegs are nice because they won't rust. Uh, they're aluminum. And we got the kegs up to 300 pounds, so I can do keg runs, you know, either in the grass or up the hill, make it kind of crazy. And then we got our, our tire, one of our tires back here. And then we got some stones. So I just picked some stones that I thought would be used. So we got uh, some smaller ones up to the 365. And then I use those tires for different things, but mostly for crash pads when we're doing heavier lifts and we need to drop the weight. So that's, uh, that's kind of it, guys. I mean, that's my setup. If there's something you want more in depth on, I'll make sure to make a video on it. But like I said, I'm getting it done. New chapter. We're utilizing the garage gym, like I said, potentially down the road, studio location where I can just train, film, create content, bring all my other commercial grade stuff in there. And I think that'll be a really pimped out, solid gym. But for right now, we're getting it done with everything that we have and just becoming a freaking beast in the neighborhood. I mean, man, people walk by uh, and the, the effects are anabolic. We have five-year-olds now who are growing six packs, mustaches, and their pythons are the size of freaking, they're big, okay? They're, they're just big. Uh, I don't I don't know what else to tell you guys. The water here is is has a little bit of trend in it. So that's it guys. Put a comment down below, like the video, subscribe. We have tons of ways that you can support the channel, whether that's the programming options down below in the description, the Patreon, $10 a month behind the scenes content, nothing you see here on social media. We also have one-on-one -on -one coaching. All you got to do is send me an email or DM me. Only take a couple of clients cuz I want to make sure that I'm delivering to my maximum potential. So stay a lean, mean health strength machine. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.